Hello guys and welcome to episode 27 of the Road to Glory series. And as you can tell, I'm not Arava, I'm Ryan 93 home of the F1 2012 overtakes of the week. And I hope you guys would like to check my channel, it will be in the link to in the description to the video. And I want to thank Arava for giving me the opportunity to commentate on this video. So as you can see, quickly the setup, uh, I would recommend it uh, if you are in the Marussia, because it's pretty good. And Arava is going on an aggressive fuel strategy, which I think will bite him in the backside later on in the race. So we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. He's in third place as well, and remember, he has to stay in Marussia till he has won the Drivers' World Championship, so I give him a lot of balls that he's doing this series, so I give him credit for that. On to the grid, we have Jensen Button on pole, with an absolute knobhead in second place, we won't mention his name, Ara is in third, uh, Hamilton in fourth, and Timo Glock somewhere in the midfield, I don't know where he is, but he's done a pretty good job for Marussia. So Ara is revving the engine, as the lights are on now. As we're about to start episode number 27 of the Road to Glory series, the lights are out and we are racing here in Canada. And Arava gets a blitz of a start, gets past Vettel straight away and he's thinking of getting around Button for the lead and he does so. What a move that is by Arava up into the lead of the Canadian Grand Prix. And he's already pulled a gap already to Vettel as Vettel has overtook Button as well up into second place. And Arava has this little twig there. But he gets it nice and nicely planted and is back on his way. And let's see what the sector time is going to the first end of first second. He's 1.2 seconds up already. That is bonkers for Arava. And he's got a great chance of winning this race here. As we're going to be going on now to the midway through lap number two. Same corner as we left. As it takes a beautiful line through the chicane. And we can see Vettel, the bullet man I like to call him is right on the backside of the Marussia as the Marussia is going to be a sitting duck on the back straight I think but Arava doing everything he can to block Vettel keep him behind and he has to do it by the rules by the way and not do it dirty like a certain Roman Grosjean does so he's going to use the rest of his curves and look at the gap he's pulled away from Vettel how is that possible but remember the Marussia is a powder dog in a straight line I think Arava would agree with me on that takes a nice beautiful line through the wall the chicane where the wall of champions is as we're going to be going on to lap number six and looks like buttons overtook vettel and looks like arava's locked up there buttons got a great chance through and they've made contact and it's not that great to see but arava still keeps the lead and pulls away with the rest of his curves and he gets drs as well arava you are one lucky bugger mate to get both that to have full curves and drs as well as the clouds are gathering here in Canada, are we going to see even Arava loses the back and hits the wall? Oh my lord, Arava, don't do that, mate. You're going to hit that wall and crash out. You don't want to do that. On to lap number eight now, and Button is only nine tenths behind. With Vettel another nine tenths back, and Arava hits the wall again. Luckily to not lose any of his end plates there. But Button is a great chance of taking the lead here off the Canadian Grand Prix. It looks like uh, Arava's thinking of pitting a lap early here comes button though hits the back and pulls out of it i don't know why he's done that as arava's come to the pit it looks like buttons in the pits it looks like vettel's in the pits ladies and gentlemen we have a freeway horse pit stop which i've never seen before which is going to be interesting as arava's mechanics are out is there going to be a two second pit stop by these boys it's a very slow one and it's not going to be a two stop it's going to be a 3.840 pit stop the marusha boys Get a slap on the head. You don't deserve that. You're going to get wage cuts and everything. Arava will cost the will probably lose the lead because of you boys. Get your life sorted. Get the pit stops right. As he's behind Roman Grosjean, a.k.a. the Dirty Boy. As he's got Massa behind as well in ninth place. So Arava's done pretty well. Stuck in the middle of these guys who have not pitted, I think. Arava's gone wide, though. Hits the curb on the grass. Here comes Massa. They've made contact and he's lost his end plate. Oh my god, what's going on? Massa takes eighth place. So Arava's down in ninth place. But he's not thinking that. He's going to go down around the outside. What a move that is by Arava. Up into eighth place and he's on his way. As Massa will probably have to pit for a new wing, I presume. Or he might stay out if he has the balls to. As we're going on to lap number 11 now. And everyone's pitted and Arava's in the lead. But who's that? That's Nico Rosberg. Where the hell's he come from? He's just popped out of nowhere and takes the lead nicely round the outside. But Arava's going to try and take that inside line for the lead. He will have DRS on Rosberg. Plants the curves. Gets in the stitching. But look at the speed difference. Rosberg is pulling away. Arava's doing everything he can in that Marussia. 
the parlor dog that it is known as. And look at it, he's only revving at 197. Rosberg's probably revving at 200. And he's going to take the chicane very aggressively. He hits the wall. Luckily, he's not lost his wing there. So he's, once again, Ara is a lucky, lucky bugger that he has not done that. As he's coming into turn one, he loses the back end and locks up. Luckily, he hasn't spun it, but keeps second place. And look at that. It looks like it's a German 134. And Ava keeps making these mistakes. It could be an all German podium, and we do not want that in this series. So Ava's going to do everything he can to keep that from not happening. He's going to try and make a move. He's gone wide. Look, didn't want to make contact with Rosberg. Gets a bit of a marble on the track, and Vettel will take second place and then make contact again. Oh my god, what's going on? Here is Vettel. Is thinking, Arrow's not thinking that, he doesn't want Vettel through. He's going to do it on the inside, he's going to overtake it. Locks up, makes contact with Vettel, and he's up into second place. Oh my god, what happened there? That is very, very close, uh, Arrow. You are being very aggressive. I'm surprised the stewards haven't come to you yet for an inquiry. Takes a nice, beautiful line there. Does Arrow get straight on the gas? He used a bit of his curse, I think, too early on that point. On to lap number 13 now. As Arava's coming out of the hairpin, he's got a gap on Vettel by half a second. I think it's more than that. Now he's used Kurz. But it's going to bite him in the bomb as Vettel will have DRS. And look at it. Look at the speed he's got. As Vettel will take second place. As Arava's coming to the wall of Champions Corner. He's locked up and he's hit the wall. He's out. He's hit the wall. Oh my god. And he's took someone out as well. He's, I don't know who that is. But we're going to get a BS replay cam here. Nicely done there, Arava. I like that. Coming to the final corner, he looks like he's broke a bit late for the corner, in my honest opinion. He's going to try and hit the apex of the curb, gets a bit of it, and hits the diffuser of Vettel. Vettel goes airborne, and Arava's got nowhere to go, hits the wall of champions, and joins the likes of Michael Schumacher and co. But look at that race result. Oh my god, we've got a German 1 2 3. Oh dear. That is not what I want to see. And uh, Team O'Clock doing an incredible job getting in the top 10 as well. And Arava took out Mark Webber, so that's pretty good. And uh, Lewis Hamilton retired as well. Arava in sixth place in the championship, only 64 points, and we're only nearly halfway. So he's still in with the championship. I think the top seven still have a fight for the championship here. But it's a Mercedes 1 2, which is very rare. I've never seen that before. And Mercedes leading from the front with McLaren second, Red Bull in third, and Marussia in fourth. But thank you guys for watching, and a massive thank you to Arava for letting me comment on this video. I do appreciate it. My link will be in the description below to my channel. And subscribe to Arrow because he's a great lad. But next time, guys, when we're going to be in Valencia for the next Road to Glory episode, wherever we are in the world, hope you have a great day. And we shall see you in Valencia. Take care.